All right, seems like today we have three releases, LDS, Contractors and Prison Bus. That's how we're gonna do kinda in the order. So we're starting with LDS and essentially it seems like it's uh, uh, not like a direct continuation of Tokyo Chronos because this is basically the same developers that did the Tok Tokyo Chronos which is, was a first visual novel for the Quest 1. I was one of the uh, only one like on YouTube to kind of do a full pray through of it. It was fine. I remember as I, I'm not a f like, you know, nowadays I'm not like a huge anime world person. The only thing I think concerning for me was that the, the game was very long and there was not many kind of interaction kind of mechanics. It was basically just a sitting down experience and that was pretty much it. And then with kind of a few endings I remember. Overall the storyline was, was fine actually. After halfway through the game actually <laughs> it really like picked up for me and uh, it was fun. What do you have? Uh, confirm, select, long press, begin, autoplay. Yeah, it's essentially the same controllers. Language, configuration, subtitles, subtitles, vertical flow. I wonder if it's gonna have English dubbing or the Japanese one, just like the first game. But it's called Beyond Kronos. And Kronos seems like uh, maybe it is a reference to the actual kind of game. Like the first one? I wonder. As a flower, as a butterfly, as a bird, as a person. Again and again, always by your side. Okay. Why do flowers bloom? English They're dubbing, nice. Beauty, ugliness, everything. It all just fades without a trace. Okay. Chloe, you need Prometheus, class lieutenant. Dry eye startup. Oh wow, wait. There are actually interactional things. Oh, nice. Okay. So maybe that's gonna be a way better visual novel than the first one. I wonder. Well, I have tits. Okay, that's all, always cool. <laughs> huh? Okay. Ripe already. A lush red. Yeah, I like that there is actual kind of interactional things. Like, maybe the avatars are still a bit too big. <laughs> it seems like like I'm too tall, but like that's the uh, kind of game's art style. It is gonna be like, you know, kind of oversized for some reason. Coca Konoe, music box. Well, the graphics are like, you know, those cardboard pixelated things, so, so it's not a huge agree for the first game. What a tragic sound. Huh? Enough with the hero fee. Oh, whatever. Ariadne added his quest to defeat the monster. The recompiled Greek myth of Ariadne the of Crete. Oh, okay. Coco? It's interesting. Whoa. What was that? You tell me. Ariadne, the tale of a beautiful girl who used thread to escape a labyrinth. Yes. Huh. Thank you for blooming. You must have worked so hard. 
I like things that let me feel a touch of eternity. Eternity? Yes, eternity. Flowers, grass, trees, stars too. Stars are eternally in the sky, and flowers live countless lives on the ground. Stars and flowers are the same. It doesn't matter if they wilt or fade, because the moment you feel their beauty will not. A flower will leave seeds budding again and again. I don't understand, Coco. You can't even see stars or flowers. There are things you don't need eyes to know. Close your eyes. Open your ears. Okay. Can you not hear the singing of the stars? Can you not hear the whispering of the flowers? Mm -hmm. The scent of flowers is all around me, and the stars are in the sky beyond. I cannot see them, but I know they are there. Let's look at the stars together someday, Chloe. It's a promise. <laughs> Don't forget. Don't forget. Wow. Seems like there's gonna be a storyline going. <laughs> I like it so far. Just a dream. Huh? Oh, by Iwaza. Chloe, answer me. Chloe, Chloe. Sorry, I was asleep. Asleep and dreaming. <laughs> well, no shit. <laughs> Sorry to bug you when you're just waking up, but we need you in the lab now. It's an emergency. We've got a meteora. I know. Ariadne has been added to, to Sphere. Huh? Sphere database errors fix it. Please boot your Sphere and check the fix. Whoa, what is this? This text me <laughs> the hell is this text Lamar imagine the desperately trying to get evils. Huh. Yeah, Ariadne. What is this? Chloe, answer me. Chloe, answer me. Chloe. Chloe? Maybe this is gonna be like a chapter selection. Chloe, Chloe, answer me. Chloe, Chloe. Sorry, I was asleep, asleep and dreaming. Makia, Humayat City defense weapon. It's locked. Strange dream. Coco. That's interesting. Chloe. Or is it kind of like a database of the memories? Huh. I've been having the same dream a lot lately. A dream where I speak with someone who has... gone. Hmm. Far away. People coming and going. <laughs> Noise. Chatter. Ah, uh, hi Shibuya. <laughs> As I gaze out at the peaceful city, the lingering strands of the nightmare fade. It's interesting to be back in Shibuya, in the same place that we've been almost one year ago in Tokyo Kronos, but with worse graphics so somehow. <laughs> Such a beautifully built place. If I just accept this reality, will the nightmares go away? But my reality is... The promise. Huh. Chloe, we don't have time. Let's do the briefing here and now. Oh. Roger, Alba. Oh. Hey there, Chloe. Perfect timing. Feast your eyes on these. What the hell are those arms? And legs. Look at how smooth and slick these arms are. And the color. Ah, this beautiful obsidian. What are you... This is through texture vision, remember? You can't touch me. <laughs> touch me. Oh no! <laughs> Oof. Testing these babies out. Yeah, the synthetic nerve circuits go right to the fingers. <laughs> I sure did good work yesterday. My new body works great, and our friends came out to play. 
What a great day today is. Everything's coming up, Julie. Hmm, yesterday, today, yesterday, today. Well, whatever, doesn't matter. Phew. Looks like I made it in time. Second Lieutenant Yamato Amanaki reporting for duty. Cheers. You're ten minutes late, Yamato. It's not like the world's gonna end. I'm here and ready to roll. That's what matters. Protocol is protocol. Prometheus is small, but we are a military organization. Huh. Now then, we've got our two Machia pilots on board. So protectors of humanity, you ready to fight? Yeah. Just let me at him, Professor Julie. I was born ready. I appreciate the eagerness, but don't blow them up, okay? They vanish without a trace if you do. Capture them and get me a sample. Those are your orders. Gods, I just can't wait to get one under my scalpel. I'll make its dissection my finest work. Professor Julie, just calm down a little. <laughs> She's fun to me. What is happening? This is a, a little bit different from the Tokyo Kronos, not gonna lie. This is more dynamic. I'll explain the mission plan. Yes. An enemy that appeared on the surface is approaching the underground city's vicinity. Cube. Auto will take the front in the Ares Machia. Chloe will deploy behind him in the Alto Machia. Okay. After deployment, the Alto Machia will move into Rail Cannon striking range. <laughs> rail Cannon. <laughs> the Ares Machia will act as support. Ares Machia. A wave attack from the Meteor on the Ares Machia is expected during your advance. A thorn wave, huh? Tough as the Machia is, it can't shrug off a direct hit from one of those. When the Meteora fires its Thorn Wave, the Ares Machia will have to weaken it with an attack. Then, activate the Mirror Generator in the Alto Machia. Ah, the energy conversion barrier. Right. Uh... If you put up the conversion barrier with the Mirror Generator, You'll be able to negate the Meteora's Thorn Wave and use that energy for a counterattack. Interesting. Nothing stings them more than an attack that uses their own energy. This is like a pattern. Maybe I have to memorize yeah, it or something. You've gotten it pinned down. Blow a hole in it with the rail cannon. Interesting. Chloe, no one else can grab and fire the rail cannons when they've been deployed. Pull the trigger. <laughs> Only you and your Alto Machia. I know. You'll be using piercing electron cluster rounds. We expect the enemy to make a straight line towards you, but we still don't have a perfect read on their activity patterns yet. Don't worry about it. Chloe's in safe hands. Uh, says the man who tripped in front of the enemy last battle. Go! General Dieter. If a battle like this gives you pause, we have no future. Show them the power of Prometheus. I expect greatness from you. Roger. Oh, the music. Roger, General. Good luck out there. <laughs> Chloe, raise your layer level. I can't confirm your link with no one. Oh, right. Can you see the stars, Chloe? Whoa. Uh, then let us be off. Arc Noah is your bow, and you are her archer. Oh, wait, she's follow me. <laughs> let us shoot down this false star. If anyone's false, it's you. Chloe, what? please try to get along in battle, okay? What? Uh. Just like always. Bring this Titan fire with your own hands. Whoa. This is interesting. User authentication completed. R2YF, Chloe. Ship 11, Auto Machia. Surface. <laughs> oh, in a mech. Okay. Keep this thing standing, Noah. I 
acknowledged. Beginning Machia connection. Activating Makani links. Motion check. Put both arms through Makani links. <laughs> wow, are you kidding me? Initiating cranial connection. Connection complete. <laughs> All clear. I'm switching over power. So the pattern was that I remember. Mirror generator. Activate. Form wave contact on conversion barrier confirmed. Beginning conversion. Launching counter arrows. <laughs> but <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> what do you mean barely? <laughs> But then dodge! <laughs> uh oh. <-uh. laughs> Chloe, grab the assistance ring. Roger. Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Chloe, I've set the rail cannon's firing output to 120%. <laughs> Wait, you what? Beginning energy charge. Please pull the trigger when it reaches 120%. Okay. I will assist your aim. 120. Oh, fuck, almost. Oh, well. Oops, I think with this <laughs> jelly, it's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Oh. Okay, edgy. <laughs> this is reality. My reality. Okay, that's very good moment to like end the video here. Do not continue the storyline. That's a little bit different from what from what I expected. Kinda. I remember in Tokyo Chronos, you were just like you know sitting down and just like. I guess enjoying the dialogue and just how the storyline evolves. Here, I kind of got 
more from like interactional kind of based here which is cool because that's what was like my first kind of issue with Tokyo Chrono is that there was not enough interaction that you would not like feel the part of the game now it kind of like it's not very like you know VR kind of based interactions like not that huge changes but like at least you do something <laughs> um, the storyline is Seems not really apparent for now, but I'm keen on doing the playthrough on it, of course, because I did on Tokyo Chronos, why I wouldn't deal with all the DS, like, uh, <laughs> that would be weird, so we'll do that, but uh, yeah, I'm interested if this game is gonna be long as Tokyo Chronos or not. I mean, I kinda want it to be shorter, <laughs> but we'll see how it's gonna unveil.